There are a lot of scummy things and downright deplorable things human beings can do to each other. But I think that one of the worst things that you can do is falsely accuse someone that you know is innocent just for attention, sympathy, and or monetary gain. The effect that one lie can have on a person's reputation and mental health is not to be played as a joke. People will believe anything even if it has zero substantial evidence to back the claim. They will spread it across social media. It will get to a point in where the victim of the false accusation would get attacked for something that they didn't even say or do. But there are many instances in where someone with a bunch of compiled evidence to back up their claim accuses another person that turns out to not be innocent after all. Like what Coffeezilla did to Logan Paul with his three-part documentary on Logan's crypto zoo scam. Another great example of this is when FaZe K, Ricecum, and other YouTubers got exposed for the Save the Kids crypto scam that they participated in. Something that banned Boozle Me is why old, hairy, greasy, grown-ass men, and yes, grown men do fall for these scams, trust YouTubers with their own money when they don't even know if these so-called reformed and trustworthy people will just run away with their money and never speak about it again. Like just one look at these people's track record throughout their career would give you at least the most minimum of common sense not to invest your money into these obvious scams. You may think, oh but I thought they changed or they looked honest or they have loads of money, why would they want to scam me? And I know it's the scammer's fault for doing this in the first place, but when you're a 25 to 40 year old man, then you should know better than to fall for stuff like this. You should only ever accuse someone when you have hard hitting evidence that is not fake in any way, before you jump to conclusions and ruin someone's reputation and livelihood because, like I said before, word gets around really quick on the internet and people will believe anything you say to them. I hope that none of you kings, queens, and non-binaries invest your hard-earned money into one of these scams. So in conclusion, don't trust YouTubers with your money and how the hell does James Charles keep getting away with shit like this? Look at how cringe these texts are, like can someone get this man already? Damn! Subscribe.